Hey folks, so this is going to be a quick one because I'm, I've got some other stuff in the uh, pipeline right now that I'm working on. Um, anyway, last time we left off I put a backlight kit in this Game Boy and I uh, accidentally got it kind of askew. And so in an attempt to fix that I decided to leave it in my car and you know I figured that would heat it up nice and uh, you know we'd be, we, we, we could go from there and try and straighten out the screen. but. I just want to say, we all make mistakes, and I had no idea it would get that freaking hot in my car. Holy shit. Uh, so, yeah, don't leave your Game Boys in your car. Um, so I'm going to be reshelling this at some point. Not today, but at some point. Um, unfortunately. But that's just, that's just the way it goes. I'm going to desolder both of these. This thing is still extremely hot. I did start trying to take it apart already, and I lost my screwdriver. Oh, there it is. So I was hoping to get that screen fixed, but now I'm thinking let's just get that screen out. And yeah, I apologize, the audio is going to be shitty because I have the printer running and it's hot out. I'm not turning off the cooler for this video. I cannot tell you how extremely disappointed I am in, in uh, how this turned out, though. I'm sure the Game Boy itself is still perfectly fine. It's just this uh, shell that I ruined. So anyway, let's try and get the screen out without destroying it. And like I said, this is still nice and hot. This is just floss. You know, the kind that you're supposed to use on your teeth, but most of you monsters don't. Unfortunately, a new LCD would have been cheaper than this shell, but had I known I was going to melt the friggin' thing... Oh, I think I just broke the LCD. It, it flexed in a way that I don't think it should have flexed. I should have uh, I should have got my my uh, hot air gun ready to apply more heat. Ah, my floss broke. That's why it cracked loose. And yeah, assuming I get this out intact, it's going to need a lot of cleaning. I've already accepted that. Oh, hello. Maybe we got it. Let's try it out. Whew.
batteries. Okay. Nope, killed it. What a fucking disappointment that was. Ugh. Well, whatever. Like I said, these LCDs are pretty cheap, so... Would have been nice to not completely destroy my Game Boy and the LCD, but... Here we are. Um... I guess I could still test out, or maybe, hopefully. <sighs> Come on, you can boot. I know you can do it. One of these days I'll get it, I swear. And I mean remove one of these screens without destroying it. So I think someone had requested that I test the menu, because I think it like displays an extra line or something on some of the other kits. But assuming your LCD is intact, that does not appear to happen here. Oh man, playing Pokemon like this would be interesting. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, th these are just BlackBerry Q5 LCDs. I don't know if Funny Playing or Retro Game Repair Shop has these stocked yet, but I know just the bare replacement LCDs for the BlackBerry Q5 are like five bucks, I think. I don't know. I'll have to double check. I thought I thought they were like four bucks or something, five with shipping. Um, but I'll have to double check. I'll throw a link in the description. Uh, like usual, there's always tons of information in the description. You're, you're, you're missing out if you don't check that. Um, but, yeah, there it is. And I just cleaned off my desk, so I don't have the other Game Boy here to test out um, and show what the specific uh, bug is. But I'll, I'll take a picture and I'll put an overlay so you can see what's going on. Or I'll just shoot another video at another time and add it in. But, yeah, I guess, well, I guess now I have a kit that I can throw in here. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll take a look at this bad boy next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope your day's going better than mine. Alright, so yeah, I'll, I'll just append this on. Um, I did look up the prices. It's, uh... Mm, 690 for the LCD through Funny Playing, and yeah, literally less than five bucks for like the whole digitizer and front assembly for the phone that the, the that the screen is out of. Um, I'm not sure how easy it is to separate from the digitizer. I think I might grab one and try that, but I'm already not doing so hot with that. Um, but anyway, here's here's the glitch on the other. Oh, apparently I don't have it on this one. Ooh, the plot thickens. I'll have to uh, do some more searching for other Game Boys. Or I'll just find an image, I don't know. But, there you have it. One more try. I don't remember which kit is which, but I thought I had one of each in one of these Game Boys. I did, uh... This kit that's in this Game Boy used to be in a diff used to be in this Game Boy, the clear one. So I don't know. Spooky. 
I messed up the install. I was rushing through it. For some reason, the LCD is like tilted forward in there. But. Yeah, I don't see it on this Game Boy either, so. I don't know what that guy's talking about. About a glitch. Maybe I'm just not far enough in the game, but I don't I don't see it. I'm not seeing it. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Again, hope your day is going a lot better than mine. Have a good night. Think things through first.